Welcome back to my Clay Entertainment Showcase this week here on my channel. I am Luke and Ledbetter, the Glorified Gamer, and uh, thanks for watching. Tonight we're going to be playing Eats Munchies. It is available on the Humble Bundle, and of course, as you can see, it is currently in beta. It's the first made available on the Humble Bundle. If you do not know about the Humble Bundle, just check that out. I'll have a link in my description. It's a fantastic website to get some great independent games really cheap. And you can offer all your money to charity, or you can uh, give it to the developers, or even HumbleBundle.com for a thank you for being such a wonderful website. Tonight, we're playing Eats Munchies. Eats Munchies is an adorable little uh, puzzle game. It's fairly simple. As you can see, I've played a little bit get used to it, but then uh, as I got into it, it I realized it kind of walks you through the first couple of levels, so you really don't have to, you jump in and you can play it fairly easily, you just like click, drag, put your plank there, you can rotate it here if you really wanted to, but it's not going to do you a whole lot of good on this one, and hit go, make them go faster, which isn't really that much faster, quite honestly. There we go. All three lollipops and the cake, which is always the final goal. We're done. Moving on to the next puzzle. Let's see here. Once again, so now that you need to rotate a little bit. So you can jump up there. Watch them go. There's the last one. Just gonna jump over the cake because we need to grab this one and then the barrier. Bam. Up it goes. We get all three. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know why he gets angry right here. It just seems really mad that all of a sudden he's being forced to dance in a way that he doesn't want to dance. This guy. This guy inhales whale. Sucks things in and shoots them back out. We don't want to do him right off the bat because we'll end up missing this one. So you want to go ahead and let Eats grab this lollipop, hit this wall turns back and he's got to be in front of the whale for it to work so we just inhale him in shoot him up there bam gets his cake he just gets his munchies if that's correct there is also a puzzle maker in the game where you can create your own puzzles and uh, ooh, I don't remember this one too well I'm going to flip him once you put him up there. So you can try to suck him back in, blow him back up. See how we do. Oh, not quite right. Let me stop it. Goes back to the beginning. And try to move him to a little bit better location. Let's try down here. He's going to come. Yeah, let's try that. quite. Uh, we might have to actually let him run twice. I guess that up there. But he would have missed it if I'd inhaled him. So we'll shoot him back up here. There we go. Ah, oh, I missed. Needs to be a little bit farther this way. Eh, might miss it. There we go. It can get a little complicated after a while. You gotta get your aim right. This is a cherry, the fiery pepper, actually. Makes eats jump farther. You just watch how that works. So jump over here, grab this, it gets all mad. Bam! That's a real simple one, just to kind of introduce the fiery pepper. Alright, 
right, let's see. We got two boards here. He's facing to the west, so we're going to have a block over here. Let's get it out here so we can turn it. Turn it that way. Put that there. And there's no block over here either. He's going to have to move past this whale. So let's put that over there too. See how that works. There. And then the pepper. Let's put the pepper. He'll grab it here so we can jump up there without any help. There we go. Now go. Go, eats. Go get your munchies. Oh, there's one. Grabs the pepper. It makes the jump. Oh, this one. Yep, got him. And there's that one. Moving on to the next puzzle. Ooh, oh, little fairly quickly, too. Uh oh. Cupcake. Not really sure what this is doing. Uh, makes these happy when eaten. Okay. So he's already fiery. I wonder what his path is going to be. Oh, yeah, you have to put everything down before. He's going to need to jump farther here. So let's put that there. And that. Hmm. Probably not gonna work. Yep, got that there. He didn't eat the cupcake. He didn't eat the cupcake. There you go. There you go. Now you're happy. Oh, you just jump down, and you jump too far. But he didn't get that, so he's gonna need the pepper back here. All right. I'm going to redo this one. Put the cupcake there. We're going to move the pepper over here. Now. Yeah, he needs to jump that over there. Alright, now let's watch him go. Hopefully he eats the cupcake first. There we go. Now he's happy. Jumps back down. Gets the pepper. Gets mad again. Get mad, eats. Jump up. Got it. Jump up. Got it. And the cake. That's the target. Got all three of them. Wonderful. Moving on. Uh oh. This is pretty emo. Onion stand. Alright, so we got an onion and a pepper. We're gonna need that pepper. It's going that way. He's gonna jump down there and he's just gonna run right off. Hmm. Let's put the onion there and the pepper there. Because he won't jump with the onion. And he's going to need the higher jump and he's facing this way. So let's see how that works. Now he's just going to be stuck right there. That's not going to work. So, let's try moving this right to that corner. Hopefully he doesn't knock it off. Or... Okay, this should work. Grabs the onions. Yep, yep. There we go. We got it this time. Yep. Oh wow, that's all this. Okay, so we're, where are we going to want to stop him? He's probably going to leap to here. Let's put the onion here. Let's see what happens. Okay, yep. Now he's not going to run off. That's good. 
Now, where is this going to send them? That's not going to work. Hmm. So where is this onion going to have to be? It's almost going to have to be here. Then can we move? This is all locked. You can't move any of that. Interesting. You just get stuck. You can't move. I don't know. I'm kind of lost now. Maybe the idea, then he won't jump off down here. Doing that pepper is he had to jump up there. Seems like you're gonna want to get him. Hmm. Yeah, if you just let him jump there, he'll just run right off the edge there. There's nothing to stop him. And then he's scared and won't jump. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, okay. Now that we got that figured out. Oh man, too early. Down he goes. <laughs> okay, so, alright, let's try this one more time. Grab the onion. Don't jump. You gotta grab this one first. Don't jump. Suck him in. Just gotta suck that up. Yeah, there we go. We got it. That's it. <laughs> A bomb. Close on impact. Thing was unstable upbringing. <laughs> All right, now where are we gonna put these bombs? What do they do? He's gonna need to jump. So let's put that there. And then I'm guessing this other bomb goes here. Yep, I was afraid of that. Okay. Let's put this here. Put there. Okay. Yep, that's got them all. And do the target. to the next puzzle. And now they get complicated again. Hmm. Gonna need to blow this. And then... Interesting. I need to come over here. Well, I think this is gonna be a good time to stop anyway. And... Let's just see what happens. I'm curious. But this is going to be our last puzzle from here. Hmm. That's probably not going to do much of anything. Yeah, he's stuck here. We're going to need... How do you make this go off? Oh, well. That's going to be our last puzzle. So, thanks for watching. Um... We're going to be doing tomorrow, continuing our Clay Entertainment Showcase with 
Don't Starve is going to be my first episode with that. And I've never played Don't Starve. I was told not to play the game until I started my Let's Play because it would be a better video. So be sure to check me out tomorrow for Don't Starve. And then next week we will go through the three games again with Mark of the Ninja, Eats Munchies, and then Don't Starve again. And then keep watching the channel because this weekend you may see a little surprise here and there. I may pop up a little extra video just to say hey, see what's going on. And uh, a little, probably Mark of the Ninja. I'm really wanting to play that game again. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Luke and Ledbetter, and my new Facebook site. You can like me there. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.